Chelsea are very close to getting their first signing under the Todd Bowley era, people. Let's get into today's Chelsea video. Hello, guys. Subscribe to Worldwide Chelsea. I would watch Chelsea. Worldwide Chelsea. Subscribe to Worldwide Chelsea. Thank you for your support. Yes, people, welcome to another Chelsea video of mine. Keeping you guys up to date with all the latest Chelsea news every single day, whether it's a video during the day or stream towards the night. Make sure you guys tune in every single day to this channel. Guys, we're going to be speaking about Gabriel Sonina. We're going to be speaking about Kunde, Dembele, Mark Alonso, SP, Billy Gorma signing a new deal, and a lot more people. Skirinia, maybe a swap deal uh, with Loftus Cheek people. So, guys, if you can, you want to support the channel, as it says right here, drop a like, people. One like. Helps out the channel. is one click, people. Let's try to hit at least 300 likes on this video to help out the channel. Subscribe if you're new here. Hit the notification. Tune in daily. And comment down below for some opinions. As it says right here, road 25k. Less than 160, 170 away from the big 25k. We wanted to hit it by the 15th of June. And then we can get a giveaway out there for you beautiful people. Maybe the new Chelsea shirt or something. So make sure you guys subscribe and like the video. Without me talking too much, let's get into today's video. First one. Very, very close to signing Ch Chicago Fire goalkeeper Gabriel Sanino. A fee of around 10 million euros is expected. Now, it's come up from Fabrizio Romano. And then he also gave, you know, the here we go little sign that's going to be coming very soon. So it looks like this goalkeeper will be our first signing. Very, very young, 18-year-old. I know there's some clips gone out on social media showing some bad signs of him. He's a kid, man. Give the guy a break. Um... Obviously, it's a market signing. He's not going to be replacing Kepa as second choice. Otherwise, I'd be surprised if, you know, putting so much pressure on a youngster. But I believe it's obviously because he's from the US and we're trying to build a brand a lot more around this. So give the guy a break. He's a young kid. You know, he's going to make mistakes, of course. This is how we learn. This is how we get better. And I'll keep you guys up to date when we, you know, officially sign. And now yesterday, I done a stream with the whole gang, of course, speaking about Kunde, speaking about Dembele. I know Dembele's deal is going to be done. It's just a matter of time rather than if we are still waiting for this deal to come out. Now, we also have more reports coming out slowly from the sport. We've got Sky Sports also saying it as well, that we are growing increasingly confident that we'll be signing uh, Osman Dembele. Obviously, Chelsea fans that have been on my channel in recent weeks know this deal was kind of, you know, done really. Ia Scram's coming out with a deal. Um, so it's just a matter of time, basically, when he holds a show up and we announce that obviously Chelsea are taking quite long. It is a little bit frustrating, but we're only not in middle of June yet. So including myself, got to be a bit more patient. Jules Conde's deal was 42 million. That was initially rejected. Uh, Seville want 55 million euros. Uh, so it's very close, probably with bonuses and stuff as well. Chelsea need to up the bid. We need to get it out there, people. We have to, you know, get this deal sorted ASAP. I want Jules Kunde and Dembele to be sorted by end of June. I've been saying it will be by end of June. Barcelona fans are not confident that Dembele will stay at, you know, the club. And PSG haven't really showed any signs in terms of signing Dembele. They are looking at Koulibaly, though. So I have to, you know, tell you guys about that Koulibaly. PSG are looking at that player definitely for sure. So I'll keep you guys up to that. Um, in terms of Marcos Alonso, we do have more updates here. Um, you know, Chelsea ready to sell Alonso. Alonso wants to leave. Chelsea wants to keep Aspi, but he has a verbal agreement in place with Barca even before the sanctions. So in terms of Marcos Alonso, uh, he said before all of this drama uh, coming up, building up to this summer transfer window that he's happy to retire at Chelsea. He's been there for many, many years. Some people don't want him here, which is fine. I want to say that he's done a good job overall. Uh, he won us uh, the league as well with Conte. He was very, very important. He was in the PFA that year as well. Obviously, his standards have dipped. He hasn't been the same guy since. Uh, a lot of pressure since Chiro getting injured as well. And he's been scapegoated quite a lot, in my opinion. So, um, I wish him the best if, if he moves on, of course. If not, he'll be a backup uh, to Chiro. It's going to be very interesting. If he leaves, then we sign someone in, you know, straight away. Whether it's, you know, Borna Sosa whether we bring Ian Martin back in or whoever, we're going to see only if Marcos Alonso leaves. And with Aspi, he has a two-year deal ready by Barcelona, even though they can't register that legally. They have that verbal agreement where 
Uh, they've agreed beforehand, but Chelsea have extended the contract by one season. Uh, and I'm sure if Barcelona come with a fee, Chelsea will consider to sell. Now, on to the next topic I do want to speak about is Scarinia. Now, this is a very, very interesting one. These guys from Italy have been talking quite a lot. The solution to reaching an agreement with Lukaku's uh, return, first of all, involves the sale of Scarinia to Chelsea. Now, you know, this is very, very weird, in my opinion. Uh, Thomas Luka wants to buy a Slovakian defender as a replacement for the ongoing, uh, outgoing sorry, uh, Chelsea defenders this summer. It also goes on to say Chelsea would like to lower the financial outlay on Scarinia by including a player like Loftus-Cheek in the talks, but Inter only want money to reinvest. So, look, you guys know what I do usually. I usually put it in the back, you know, at the end of the video, but we're going to put it. Good performance, man. Don't ever leave Chelsea. Never give up. Loftus-Cheek, always. Do you guys want Loftus-Cheek to stay at Chelsea next season? Squad depth player, him, Ross Barkley, Conor Gallagher coming back, of course. Who do you guys want to see in that midfield? But in terms of what's being said right now, swap deal with money, of course, for Skriniar. You know, I'm open to that. But, you know, the, fir the first bit kind of kind of worries me. Like, you know, the solution to reach an agreement for Lukaku's interests uh, return is by sort of this defender nonsense. So I don't think it should be like that. I think regardless of whatever happens, Lukaku needs to go. That should be done first. We need to get rid of the poison in this club he doesn't want to be here he, he wants to leave since december since he's done the interview get him out i don't care if it's a loan for the first season and then he, we we talk about the second loan fee and then with an obligation get the guy out of here we have not even paid the full money for lukaku currently it is time to go my friends like we said in yesterday's stream it is time to go so yeah in terms of loftus cheek I think it's good enough to be a squad depth player, but it really depends on the outgoings. You know, we've got Conor Gallagher coming back. Ross Barkley, I don't know what's happening. Maybe he's gone as well. Danny Drinkwater has gone. Um, so in terms of depth, if we bring anyone else in, it'll be harder for Loftus-Cheek as well. So that is one to keep an eye on. As I said uh, about Robert Lewandowski, is a very, very interesting one. He wants Barcelona. However, Barcelona cannot register players legally. I've I've said that many, many times right now. Maybe they'll get that sorted because Christensen right now is a free agent. Now, big up carefully, Louis G, uh, the Danish Maldini, as he says. You never know. Maybe he might resign for Chelsea Football Club if, if uh, you know, Barcel can't sort this deal out. But highly unlikely people, but, you know, got a bent sometime as well. But Robert Lewandowski wants Barcelona. Two European clubs are apparently his plan B. PSG, and Chelsea. It's always PSG, man. Always PSG. Whether it's Hakimi, whether it's Dembele, whether it's, you know, Koulibaly. Now, Lewandowski. You know how frustrating it is to see PSG's name, man. However, his wife, Anna, uh, is currently uh, reluctant to move to London. And then you got Paul Merson smoking some weed. Uh, you know, Arsenal should make a ch cheeky 60 million bid for Lukaku. Because if Chelsea are so desperate to let him go, they're talking about loaning him to Inter Milan. Surely they'll take the money. I'll be chasing Lukaku hard if I was Arsenal. I'll be trying my hardest. Well, look, he can go to Arsenal and I don't really care. But 60 million is not enough. We want 70 million at least, people. 70 million, take a 30 million loss. You know, I think that would be decent enough anyway. Uh, we also had, um, where is it? You know, that's the Nembley news I was talking about. Uh, developments are expected quickly and the situation is close to being resolved. And we're looking at a young centre-back from Milton Keynes Dons, Harry Darling. And this is from the Football League world. Listen, I'm not going to act like I know anything about him. Okay, I'm not going to lie to you on social media, on YouTube, and act like all these YouTubers that will tell you, yeah, he's a very, very good hot prospect. Of course, Chelsea, Norwich and Brighton are looking at him then maybe he could be a special, special player in the future. But, you know, we're linked with many, many players, if you're being honest, man. If you're being honest, we're linked with many, many players. I also do want to say uh, the fixtures that come out on Thursday, 9 a.m. Apparently, it's been leaked, Chelsea fixtures. Southampton away, Nottingham Forest at home, Man City away, Tottenham at home, Leicester away, Wolves away. Newcastle at home, Everton away. This is quite difficult. Not the first two, but Man City, Tottenham, Leicester, Wolves, Newcastle, Everton. I say that is difficult. 
Billy Gilmore stays at Chelsea until 2024. So what do you make of that fixture list, people? Do you think it's real? I don't know, man. I don't know. Maybe they have to change it or something now. We'll see. Um, but that will be a very, very difficult one. Those three or four games at the beginning, they could define our season very early. Playing Holland away as well. Not looking forward to that, people. But listen, as always, like the video, people. Subscribe if you're new here. Hit the notification. Tune in daily and comment down below for the opinion, man. See you guys soon, man. Peace. Tomorrow, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, I'm in the office as well, by the way, for to tell you guys. So there'll be a, either a video during the day, during my lunch break, or maybe a stream after work. But I'll see you guys soon. Man.